welcome or welcome back to Jen's Hangout. Today we are doing our Friday palette roulette. So let's get into it. As you guys know, I have my base done already. What is palette roulette? I'll do that first. Palette roulette is um, an app from the app store where you it's called spin the wheel is the app and you put in all of your eyeshadow palettes into this app and this is what it looks like i will show you when you finish it <laughs> mind you i have a lot of eyeshadow palettes more than is remotely necessary so this is what mine looks like it is a lot a lot a lot a lot of eyeshadow palettes don't do that we good no broken nothing's broken okay so we're good everything is still fine <laughs> Woohoo! yay anyway so this is what it looks like when you're all done took me two days to put in all of my eyeshadow palettes i have way too many i still need to do a massive declutter I have done declutter, continue to do decluttering, but it is just shit ominous. Anyway, so I have put in all of my eyeshadow palettes into the app, and so we are going to hit the spin button, let the app choose what we are going to put on the eyeballs today so let's get to it and let a pick i'm gonna hit the spin button There she goes. And that is what she picked. What did she pick? The Mini Controversy Palette. Okay. I haven't used that one in a minute. And I have the... I used to have the one with just the the um, the brown center. I forget which one that is. But the one that I have is the one with the um, green. So, let me grab it. It's right here. So, this is what she looks like out of the packaging. This is the outer packaging. Um, and this is what she looks like. So, we will be doing our look with this today. See, and... I don't understand why they didn't take out diet root beer leave the other brown one in here and put the put it back which is the green one in here then they could have both of the colors instead of two different palettes and no redundancy my two cents whatever okay we're gonna go out of the app and we're gonna shut this off for now because we don't need her on right now oh i got heartburn Ooh, i shouldn't have heartburn but i do and i'm drying out my new coffee mm. it's so yummy if you guys haven't seen that video for the new coffee you will be very soon it is for the bones coffee oh it's so good it's so good like mm -hmm. yes okay we're gonna go in with the p louise base in a rumor oh one so Gotta let it gloop on to my brush so that I can get it on to my eyelids. Oh yeah, oh yeah. 
I just got it on my face, okay? I didn't want it there. Like, really? Rude! <sighs> like, come on. We're serious. I mean, jeez. Always. I guess we'll just use it as a concealer down there, right? We'll just go with it. And talk like a valley girl while we're doing it, right? A valley girl from the 80s, right? Like, oh my god. I really don't think they actually talk like that. So this has been the coolest thing the last few days. I am loving it. I'm going to have to order more. It's so great. I absolutely adore it. It's like gel in a mascara wand. Haha, <laughs> it's fabulous. It's, it's specifically for getting the wispies, right? But it actually works. It's fabulous. I love it. Love it so much. That's rich luck with rich lux would say okay so i am gonna go in with diet root beer just as a transition i think that's like the normal transition more of a buff this out right Get her done this way. Wait, wait. So what have you guys all been up to? Have you tried this palette roulette? You guys really should try this palette roulette. I have totally become addicted to it. Like, absolutely. Okay. See, it's like, um, a buck, buff brown. As, as auntie would say, if you guys watch that on TikTok, it's hilarious. You know, it's, it's a buckskin. You know, so the Braves know. It's great. I love it. I love it. You guys have to watch it. It's so great. Anyway. So, there is that color. Do I want that one? No, I want this one. We're going to go in with... This is my Bling Brush in E15. And I think we're going to go a little exposed, which is this light lavender color. And we're just going to go over top of that um, diet root beer. Right. Just going to go over the top of it. Because... It was just the base color, right? It's just the transition. So, oh my gosh, I love these brushes. I always forget to use them. Because I have them over here separate in a nice little jar all to themselves, right? With my Slay Glam brushes. Because those are my bling. That's my bling. So they got to be separate. And I always forget to use them. And they're so nice. Okay. Yes. So pretty. Okay. We'll get this one all uh, built up. And nice and pretty. You know, the windshield wipe or motions that everybody hates doing. Because you got to blend and we never used to do in the 80s and the 90s. You just slap the crap on your face and be like, I'm done. And walk out the door. <laughs> oh. 
those were the days of not looking of looking like a fool right okay so we'll leave that and then I think I want to go in with this um, Miss Glam brush mm, which one no actually I'm gonna go in with again with this Bling brush in the E14, and I'm going to go in with Controversy. On my out of E. Right. Dusslich. Deepen up that V. Bring her in. Bring it in, bring it in. Right? Bring it in, bring it in. So have you guys noticed any shortages in your stores? Because, like, I can't get my coffee creamer, which is driving me crazy. I love my coffee creamer. I love it so much. It's my husband's fault. He has gotten me addicted to it. I never used to drink coffee creamer, right? I always drank my coffee black. Not now. <laughs> now I have to have my coffee creamer. It's horrible. It's really, it's bad. <laughs> And, uh, oh, hold on, I gotta go get the doggies. Okay, so I cleaned off my, um, E14, my E14, E14, and I'm going to use the, um, put it back, which is the green color, I think. Actually, no. I think that would be put it too much. I'm going to go in with my apology on my lower lash line. Something to remember about a color switch, because that's how I use what I did. If you have a naturally, a natural hair brush, never use a color switch. Because it will just eat the hairs on your brush. And eventually you won't have a brush. You'll just have this stub. <laughs> so. Okay. And then I'm also going to. I bring this up. I like this. Pucker up your lips. I like this. Okay. And so. I'm going to bring it up. In here. Just a little bit. Just into that. I have this new mirror and I really want to try it. It's a it's an Adex mirror. I'm excited to try it. But it's dirty. Hello my handsome. Oh my. Oh my lenta. I can see my eyeball. Like poof, there it is. Poof, there it is. Holy mackerel. Like, talk about precision placement. Oh my gosh, I can see the red lines in my eye. Inside my eye, you know. Like, I have redness in my eye because my eyes are kaput. And I can see it. I can see them. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Don't see. God, I shut up. Oh my gosh. It's so lovely. I don't think you're supposed to use these things this close, but, oh my gosh, if I use it that far away, I can't see nothing. Like, at all, I can't see anything. If I stick it to my mirror, because it's got suction cups, 
so you can stick it to your mirror. Oh my gosh, it's like, whoa, it's gonna make me seasick. <laughs> oh my. Oh, now it's like permanently stuck. Oh, hold on. Hold on, I'll be right back. I had to use my letter opener to get it off of my mirror. <laughs> oh, I'm such a dork. But I like it right here. But yeah, up close, or, you know, um, stuff on my mirror, no. I don't like it. But I like it like this. This is nice. Like, yeah, I like it like this. Like this, actually, I like it a lot. It's very helpful. I'm just to the point where my eye doctor, he's like, you don't quite need bifocals, but you're almost there. So, but not enough to warrant a prescription or the ones in the store. So just take your glasses off. So that's why I'm constantly taking my glasses on and off and on and off and on and off is because I'm at that in-between stage. So this is nothing, this doesn't have anything on it. I'm just blending. Blending, we're blending, blending. We're blending, okay. And so I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go in here in the middle, right? I kind of wanna go in on the bottom. I'm not, there's nothing on here. I'm blending this out a little bit. Just soften that up a little bit. I think. 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 I'm gonna go in with this Juno and Co brush, right? And just a little mister. This is just a face mist from Makeup Revolution. I really like the smell of it. It smells so amazing. It's their Super Fruit Replenishing Essence Spray. And it is with blueberry extract. Oh my gosh. Like, oh, it's wonderful. It's really, it's, it really does refresh your face. Oh, yummy. Oh, yummy. It smells so, so good. Okay, I think actually... It's like, I, I don't want to put a shimmer there, right? So I think what I'm going to do, but I kind of do. Oh, but I kind of do. So I'm kind of curious. I have, yes, I think this one. I have this ColourPop Super Shock in Frog, right? Look at that. She's gorgeous. So I sprayed this, right? I know I'm kind of going off, off script with the, you know, it's not in the palette. Shh, I won't tell if you don't tell. Right? Okay. It's so pretty though. Just so pretty. I almost wonder if we don't need this is my thinner. Oh my gosh. It's gorgeous. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Look at how pretty that is. And I always take it up really high. I know you guys are all probably going, what are you doing? Why are you going up so high? I have hooded eyes. Okay, I have hooded eyes. So when I open my eyes, you don't see squat. <sighs> 
So I have to go above and beyond, right? Above and beyond to infinity. So here we go. Oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. It's stunning. I really is. I probably should have put flat earth down first. That would have been good. Give it a nice white base. Like a blue white base. Would have been really pretty. Yeah, look at that. See, it's so pretty. See, it's so pretty. Yes, we like it so much. We like it so much, we'll put a little streak there and a little streak there. And some more right here and some more right here. All right. Because why not? Because we love our super shocks from, from ColourPop. And you know that if you need to revive a Super Shock, you use Inglot's Duraline. Or their Jelly Much Shadows. They come right back to life. Right back to life. Okay. Spread that out just a little bit. Yes, queen. Not that I'm a queen, but I like it so much. I I did go back into controversy here with this purple because I wanted to do deepen it up. Right, I'm blundering. Cause she's just stunning. Hmm. Yes. Okay, so there's that. I'll be right back with some line on, some lashes, and some lipis. We'll be right back. Okay, here's my final look. I don't have lipstick on my teeth. Woohoo! That's an accomplishment. So, what did I do? <laughs> we have the mini controversy from the palette roulette. And then on the inner corners, I have a frog in the super shock. Um, and then I went in with this little sample size Surfer Girl mascara um, by Tarte by the Sea. <sighs> Look at what happened with the wand. Look at how smunched it is. You, the bristles don't even come out. So, sadly, this is going in the trash. Um, on the lower lashes, I have the AOA Studio Wisp um, in deep... I think it's just purple. Not deep purple. Yeah, it's just purple. And I really like it. It's cute. And then on my lash line... No, my waterline, I have... Um, the NYX, um, yeah, the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Cottage Cheese. I love those things. They're fabulous. But I went over my, uh, lashes with this Dose, 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 Max Lash Volumizer Mascara. So we'll give this a go since that one didn't pan out. Oh, and I also have my milk um, lash primer on as the veil underneath it all. And then for my lippy, I have three. <laughs> I have the AOA Velvet Lips. I love this stuff. It's so good. In the shade Luma. Right? I love this stuff. It is wonderful. It dries down 
beautiful it's matte it stays on and then it dry it, it eventually fades to this gorgeous lip stain right especially this like black cherry color right but i wiped most of it off and i did that on purpose because then i went in with this jeffree star the gloss and this one is very opaque you see um I went over the top of it this is dirty royalty so I went over the top of that Luma with that to kind of oomph it up right and then I wanted a little bit of sparkle so I went over top of all of those with sickening this has the glitter so that's what I did for my lippy so there you go here's the final look let me know what you think down below. Probably not something you thought would happen with the mini controversy palette. So there you go. Here's my final look. I hope you like it. Have a great weekend. Blessings to you all. I love you so, so much. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.